Can you afford to live in Roanoke? In this video, I'm going to talk all about what it costs to live in the Roanoke area. And if you wait until the end, I'm going to show you how we stack up against the other cities around Virginia. Everybody quiet, please. I get calls from around the country asking what it's like to live in the Roanoke area. And in this video, we're going to see if you can afford to live in the Roanoke Valley. So let's get this thing started. So number one are rent prices. Rent prices have really skyrocketed over the last year due to COVID and, and other different things. But in the Roanoke area right now, you could rent a one bedroom apartment for about $650 a month. You can get a three bedroom apartment and in some places a three bedroom home for about $1,100, $1,200 a month. Now that's up about 13% from last year, but it is 30% less than Richmond and 57% less than Northern Virginia, which I don't think so that bad. Now, if you're looking to buy a home, the average sales price in the Roanoke area is about $298,000. Uh, the average home sits on the market for about 27 days. And in this area, what I'm seeing is most houses at their price right they're gone within days if not hours sometimes it depends on the price range you're in utilities now i speak for our utilities i'm a family of four or live in a house uh, we have older windows older insulation older everything basically we bought a fixer upper but our average utility bill as far as electric is anywhere between 100 to 150 dollars a month our water bill, which includes sewage in the Runnick County, Runnick City area, uh, we pay anywhere between $65 to $100 a month. It depends on if I water my garden a lot or not. The cable bill typically in this area is anywhere between $100 to $200 a month. And then gas, uh, I have gas heat, gas water heater, gas logs. Uh, our average bill in the summertime is $50, $60. Uh, winter time is anywhere between 150 to 200 dollars. Uh, like I said, I have the older windows and everything in my house too. Income taxes in the Roanoke area are five percent, uh, and then localities have a food tax if it's prepared by a person. Like if you shop at a restaurant or shop in a deli, uh, the the different cities add an, an additional one, one and a half, two percent uh, to that tax. So taxes aren't so bad, but it is what it is. Gas prices currently, uh, and it's fluctuated, it's actually gone up a lot over the last year, but uh, currently it's anywhere between 285 to 299 a gallon. I know that our friends over in California are paying over $4 a gallon, so I feel blessed to live here and, and getting the, the least expensive gas, I guess our uh, child care so if you have children that you need child care for uh, you're looking anywhere between 400 to 600 dollars a month to uh, have your child go to daycare uh, it's a lot cheaper if they're just going to an after school daycare now schools we have some great schools in the area and uh, you know and a lot of it's a matter of opinion but for a link of how different websites grade our schools click below and it'll show you all the different information about the schools. I'm fluffy, so I don't go to the gym often, but those who do go to the gym, we have Planet Fitness, $10 a month, all the way up to if you're doing CrossFit and things like that, uh, you're looking anywhere between $100 to $150 a month. We have a ton of different options. We even have a place out on Williamson Road that if you are living your childhood dream or want to live your childhood dream of being a uh, professional wrestler, they have a gym there to teach you how to do that. As far as our restaurants are concerned, uh, you can go out to lunch for about $15 to $20 a person. Uh, if you're on a date or whatever, or want a nice dinner, you're looking at it to be anywhere between $20 to $40 a plate. It all depends on where you eat. I don't even know that you can eat at a Wendy's anymore, anywhere under $15. If you're a coffee drinker like myself, then this is the place for you. We have a ton of different coffee uh, shops in the Roanoke area. We have Sweet uh, Donkey, Mill Mountain Coffee. So we have a ton of those around the area. And 
that's what keeps me going, groceries. Uh, groceries, I think, run about the same as they do throughout Virginia. A gallon of milk's about $2.99 a gallon if you're getting whole milk. A loaf of bread's about $1.99. A uh, hamburger, $4.99 a pound. If you're looking for a local hookup in your in town, let me know. I know some farmers that have local uh, local beef and, and chicken and pork, and sometimes you can get a lot cheaper than you can the grocery store now. Movies, if you're looking to go out to the movies, it's about 10 to, 10 to $12 a ticket. If you go to a matinee, you'll save about 30%. If you're looking for that IMAX experience, we don't have that in the Roanoke Valley. You do have to travel to the Blacksburg area for that experience. The biggest employers in the Roanoke area, uh, and that's changed tremendously. It used to be the railroad uh, that's slowly kind of moving out of the Roanoke area. So now we have Carillion, Kroger, Wells Fargo. We have a big call center here. Uh, also, the Roanoke, uh, Roanoke school systems are a big employer and always looking to hire bus drivers and different staff for the schools. So definitely there are a ton of jobs here if you're looking for one. The median family income in this area is a little over $51,000. That's 27% than the U.S. Uh, average, but I think it's also because we're a, a smaller city. Now this is the moment you've been waiting for. How do we compare uh, our cost of living to other cities around Virginia? Richmond is 13% more expensive than living in Roanoke. If you choose to live in the Norfolk area, they pay about nine to 10% more than we do here in the Roanoke area. And the real kicker is Northern Virginia. It's 78% more expensive to live up in the Northern Virginia area than it is to live in the Roanoke area. So if you're currently looking to, to move to this area, or if you already own a house and looking to sell, reach out to me. I'd love to have a conversation about the Roanoke area. If you like what you heard today, don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notifications of future videos. Until next time, have a great day.